Hello everyone, happy, happy Pride Month! I'm Fran, this is Fran Nook in the Pages and today I am going to share with you all the books that I hope to read during the month of June. Of course, all these books are going to be LGBT books. I always, always try to read mostly LGBT books, but in June it's mandatory for me to read exclusively LGBT books. So, so excited about all the books that I'm going to show to you in this video today. This month I'll also be participating in the Queer Lit Readathon that was created by Kathy and Rogan. I will leave the link to their channels in the description down below. The readathon will run from June 5th till June 11th and there's a bingo board with prompts that can inspire your reads and the books that you choose to read for the this readathon and I am so so excited. I've already said that I'm excited. I am excited of course. I'm going to start with the books that I'll be reading for the readathon and then I will follow with all the other books that I will be reading throughout the month whenever, <laughs> wherever. Before we begin a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel if you haven't to like and share this video to click the bell icon if you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on the social media, befriend me on Goodreads and I have a coffee account which is a digital tipping service. You will find all this information in the description down below. And now without further ado, let's see all the wonderful LGBT books that I plan on reading this month. For the Queer Lit Readathon, I would truly love to read, finally, Letters to Myself by Kabi Nagata. This is a manga-like graphic memoir. This is her second graphic memoir. The first one was My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness, which I read two years ago and loved so much. And she has written three more, I think. I am so behind. I need to catch up. But anyways, I just love her style and the way that she's so brutally honest about things. I love the art inside, how it's all pink and the kind of drawing. I just I just really love it and I absolutely love graphic memoirs. It's going to be a challenge to read this because the first one I read from my Kobo and I have to get used to the fact that I have to read it from the back going to the front. <laughs> You know mangas, okay? They work in a different way and I'm not used to it, but it's going to be a challenge. I'm going to use this one for the prompts of nonfiction because it is a memoir and for messy queers. Then I don't have it physically with me at the moment, but I am going to read Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. This is a graphic novel about a shapeshifter who starts working for a villain and I've heard that this is just hilarious and cute and so much fun and I cannot wait. I really want to read something by Noelle Stevenson. This is the group read, which is why I decided to finally read it this month and I am so excited. I'm going to use this one for the prompts of group read, of course, as well as graphic novel because it's a graphic novel. Next, I want to read The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. And I don't know much about this one. I know that it has LGBT representation, even if I don't think it's explicitly said what kind on the page in the book. There are no labels. That's what I know at the moment. I might be wrong. It is fantasy. It has a dark academia vibe and I'm just really curious to read it. Also, the sequel is coming out later this year. So it is about time that I finally read this one. And I I'm so excited to be buddy reading it with the Aoife from Words of Clover as well as Isabella at It's Bells. So I will leave the links to their channels in the description down below, of course, because you need to go and check them out right now. This one I'm going to use for the prompts of sci-fi because it is a fantasy book as well as messy queers, I think. I think there are going to be some messy queers in this one. Last book that I plan on reading for the Queer Lit Readathon is Julie Claire Gets a Clue by Katrin Bury. This is about a 12 year old girl named Drew who starts investigating a crime of cyberbullism at her school, if I'm not mistaken. This is shelved as LGBT particularly lesbian and I'm really excited to see how the representation is going to come out and play out in the book. I love to read books with young characters who are queer, who have already figured out their identity because you're never too young to know 
who you are. So I'm really excited to read this one and I think it also has a representation for disability. Drew might have an anxiety disorder. I'm not quite sure so don't quote me on that but I will see and tell you more. I'm going to listen to the audiobook of this one and this one I'm going to be using for the prompts of new to you author, new to me author and for the prompts that we can freely choose because I'm going to listen to the audiobook so whenever there's a free prompt for us to make up I do the audiobook prompt because I love listening to audiobooks what can I say I do have a jolly <laughs> I do have a book that it is not quite a priority within the Queer Lit Readathon, but I would love to read it this month. And if I manage to read it during the Queer Lit Readathon, that's all the better. And that is Queer, a graphic history by Meg John Barker and Julia Skill. Shiel? So sorry about butchering the name. This is a nonfiction graphic novel about being queer and queer history as the title says. This is what it looks on the inside more or less, a quick peek and I am really really excited about this one and if I do get to read it this is going to work for the prompts of a graphic novel as well as queer history and nonfiction. That being said, let's move on to a few more books that I would love to read this month. I have three more that I would like to talk about in this video. I hope to get to all of them. I might not. I might choose other books instead of these ones. Who knows? TBRs are just guidelines to be taken with a grain of salt because who knows what might happen along the way. Uh, but one book that I would definitely love to finally, finally read this month is the Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. I have my Italian copy right here. It has been translated in Italian as well. And I feel like this is a staple in the queer YA literature books available to us. This was one of the first, I feel like, that was shelved as YA when YA was, you know, taking off and it's a classic, it's kind of a classic and I cannot believe that I haven't read it yet, okay? It is a classic lesbian YA book. I'm a lesbian, it's unforgivable that I haven't read this one yet. There's also a movie that came out two years ago, three years ago, something like that, and I haven't watched it yet. What's wrong with me? I need to read this one ASAP and then watch the movie. This is about a girl who loses her parents. Before they died, she had kissed a girl and she had never had the chance to tell them and she feels very guilty about that. She goes to live with some relatives, I don't remember who. I think they find out about her identity and they send her to a conversion camp. So I'm really interested to read this one to see how the story will play out and I, I cannot wait. It is going to be tough because conversion camps, seriously, the church needs to shut the hell up. But anyways, I am so excited to read this one and I cannot wait to tell you more after I've read it. And then I have two audiobooks on my list. The first one is Queer Beloved by Susie Dumont and this was one of my most anticipated reads of the year. I cannot wait to listen to the audiobook. This is a queer romance and the main protagonist is a baker. She works at a Christian bakery, of course. She's not out of the closet at her place of work and one day she gets fired. I don't know if it's because they find out about her identity or because she just gets fired but she does get fired and she needs to find another job and I think she ends up catering for a wedding. So we have a queer romance, we have a baker as a main character, and we have a wedding setting. Like, do I need more? No, I don't. I am so excited. I cannot wait to listen to this one. And the last book that I'm going to talk about in this video, I hope that I can say the title without reading it. Let's bet. The Many Half-Lived Lives of Sam Sylvester. I think, I think I nailed it, by Maya McGregor. And this is about a teen who moves to a new country, 
in the US after a very bad experience that I think has to do with transphobia and for some reason or another they become obsessed with a murder that happened in the 1980s and they start investigating it and the story goes from there. I listened to the sample of the audiobook, it was so good, it was so good. I love the cover of this book as well which does not hurt and I'm really interested in reading this story. I had an e-arc that I didn't get to on time because this book came out last month so I am so late and I'm really sorry about that but it's finally it's time and I'm going to read this one, I'm going to listen to the audiobook and I cannot wait. And this is it for this video, thank you so much for watching it, I hope you enjoyed it, I think I'm going to read other LGBT books, I want to try and read more Italian books, particularly this month, particularly LGBT books that have come out in Italy and that's why the TBR for the rest of the month is not as full of books as is the one week of the Queer Lit Readathon. We'll see what I can get to. I, I don't know, we shall see, but this is my plan for this month. Let me know in the comments what books you will be reading for Pride Month, if you have read any of the books that I've mentioned, what you thought about them, and also let me know if you're participating in the Queer Lit Readathon and what books you're planning to read for that. Again, thank you so much for watching, I will see you very soon with another video and until then, have a good one, take care and keep reading. Warm hugs! Bye!